Ixip is a chemical company. Uh, it provides tailor-made solutions to fix customer problems, but it's also the largest chemical company in Australia. Ixip's roots stem back to ICI PLC um, and more recently to the uh, floating of uh, Orica as an entity in the early 2000s. It's also gone through a period of 70-year history to renewing itself from time to time to becoming a manufacturer, an importer of chemicals, a technology provider, a service provider, and a trader in chemicals. So it's done all that very successfully. And that's what defines Ixum as it starts off under this new brand today. April 2015 was uh, where we started to stand on our own two feet. Um, we had to forge an identity, uh, an independent identity as a private company. So that was going to be done through reputation. So our reputation was going to be forged through delivery and repeated delivery. We saw the opportunity with ethylene simply because the existing state of play was that ethylene was being treated like any other chemical supplied to any other customer. Uh, we saw that that was not really uh, fulfilling the customer's needs. In terms of the Curtis Island project itself, um, it was 2012 that came on the radar. A massive project, a project of national significance in the, the Bowen Basin in Queensland. Tens of billion dollars of uh, investment. From our perspective, it was an opportunity to do what we do well. The Curtis Island projects are refrigerating natural gas using ethylene as a refrigerant and we as Ixom are, are a supplier of that, ref, that key refrigerant ethylene to these projects. Ethylene is a gas that has the ability to uh, be extremely flammable. It also has um, a very low boiling point which means that it requires very special handling equipment and also the ability for it to be uh, able to kept contained at all times. We had experts in every element of the supply chain and we had all of those assembled to identify firstly um, what the risks were with the projects and what the associated mitigations were. And that all uh, manifested itself in a set of critical controls. As a result of those risk assessments, um, what we were able to do was uh, understand that a remote location, a remote storage location should be established, which is in close proximity to the customer, so that we really had reduced the risk uh, footprint of ethylene and also minimised freight movements and, and handling of the product. The port itself is a port that is a, a small port, but it also handles explosives. What we were importing was combustible gases. So the procedures we had to put in place were detailed. They accommodated those sorts of uh, requirements and we were able to do that in a fashion that, that satisfied the authorities to the point that we, we got all associated permits. The ability to then take the product on trucks, being able to train our entire transport fleet, uh, make sure that the routes, the transport routes were well um, risk assessed um, uh, and understood by all the drivers, the inductions, uh, the training of the drivers in terms of how this product would behave and understand the awareness of the product itself was critical because what it meant was that the drivers understood how the product needed to flow even from the storage location. We would have a weekly operation review with the customer and what that would do was it would provide transparency on the customer on how we were performing against the delivery schedule that was required, which again was very, very condensed. We had to deliver a lot of product very quickly and failure to do so would it disrupt the commissioning of the plant. So the customer themselves have acknowledged that by the way we've conducted ourselves in a safe manner, getting a high quality product in a fast, efficient and timely manner, the setup of Port Alma was actually a cost saver for the customer. In the context of this particular project, innovation was absolutely critical. Off the shelf would have been product brought in on a general purpose ship into Brisbane onto a tanker, up to Curtis Island, and sat around. Port Alma was not an accident, it was an output of the design. The design showed that if we had Port Alma, isolated but in close proximity to the customer, we would give the customer three essential ingredients. A product delivered very safely, a product delivered of a very high quality, and a product that was delivered in a very efficient and time-effective manner 
so that they could start up their project on time. In the past, ethylene was just being handled with every possibility and every danger, and incidents did occur. Incidents with ethylene have occurred and continue to occur when LNG projects are being sanctioned. The solution that we provided has now delivered the outcome. It's delivered the outcome without incident, without safety risk, and delivered on all parameters required by the customer. I believe that because we are willing to innovate, the reputation of being innovative is going to take us to the next step. That's what we are known for, we are reputed for, and what we have done. That's our track record. This is a new industry, it's an exciting industry, and it provides Australia a competitive advantage. I view this as a significant milestone that will take us global. I'm confident of that.